also thank HowlRound for coming on three years ago or so at first to help us live stream and uh, more recently uh, in what was it March or whenever it was um, to help us do it uh, this way during the COVID thing. So what we do every day with, that we meet together is we write together for 20 minutes and then we, I take your questions about your work and your creative process. So if you have a question, Audrey will tell you how to get in touch. Thanks, SLP. Um, so if you have a question and you are inside of the Zoom, all you need to do is click on the participant tab. It's likely at the bottom of your screen if you're on a laptop or the top if you're on an iPad or a tablet. You click on the participant tab and inside of there is a little button that says raise your hand and you can click on it and a little blue hand will pop up and I will call on you if we've got time. Um, if you're watching on HowlRound.tv, you can tweet at us at, at WatchMeWorkSLP with the hashtag HowlRound, H-O-W-L-R-O-U-N-D. Um, or you can tweet at the public theater, which is at public theater NY or right to the public theaters Instagram. And that's it. Uh, so we're going to begin.
You ready? I am. I have on my little thingy doos. <laughs> Amazing. We're going to go to Charles. Hi, guys. Hi. Yes. How are you doing? Good. Great. Great. Um, so uh, something very weird happened to me, and I want to see your opinion on it, if it ever happened. So, you know, I'm writing something about the war. And I, uh, you know, every now and then the PTSD of the war comes back while I'm writing. Mm -hmm. Today, while I'm doing that, and I started... Uh, a big explosion happened in, in my mm -hmm. in my homeland and it mm -hmm. devastated me and devastated everything. So I was so angry, so pissed. I feel everything here in my chest, but at the same time, I want to create art with it. I'm so blocked and I didn't know what to do with that energy. I just wrote something like as a, like a poem or something, but I didn't know, have you ever witnessed or had something like this related where you put it in a character or, because. I, I feel I want to do something with it, but I don't want to also get it lost. Mm -hmm. So that's my mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You feel like, what do you mean you don't want to get it lost? What do you mean? I, I don't want what I'm feeling, that that bubble, that that thing that I feel now, that emotions, that human side, that that uh, that real. I don't want it to get lost by, I just want to put it in, in a character or write it. But at the same time, I'm very blocked of writing it right now because mm -hmm. I'm very devastated by, by what's happening and the entire thing. Mm -hmm. uh, can you can you write it in the first person just like you're talking to us right now? Yes, I can. I, I did write something like this right now, but uh -huh. yeah, I did. Yes, I uh -huh. can. Uh -huh. I mean, yeah. I mean, what you're expressing right now is very beautiful and very true. And I, well, my feeling is I wouldn't want it to get lost in the commodity of... It, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. So, but that's, yeah. 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 So um, I think, I mean, if you have, if you just write it down now as you're feeling it now, um, then you can um, later, you know, find the appropriate place to put it, you know? Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I thought it, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Wow. And that's, I, I was just watching that a little while ago on the news. Um, yeah. It's devastating, but yeah, it's life. Thank you. Uh, unfortunately, that is a part of life. Yeah. Yeah. I'm. I'm I feel for you, man. I really yeah. feel for you. Yeah. Aww. But but keep writing it down. You know. You know. Yes. Keep, even if you fit, you think you're done. You know. Maybe write a little bit more. If you think it's not going to fit in what you're writing, write a little bit more. You know. And, I will. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. All right. We're going to go to me. Okay. Hi, it's so good to be back. Four days is too long, but thank you all for being here today. Um, my question is about the idea of work. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm working so hard mm -hmm. on my project, mm -hmm. but the numbers of words is not necessarily coming. I'm mm -hmm. doing research. I'm, in, I'm embedding myself in subjects I'm interested in. I'm writing about memoir. I'm, I'm surrounding myself with photographs sometimes. I'm taking notes, like, mm -hmm. but the output hasn't, it's not coming the way that I would really hope. And I think I'm working, but I'm not, I mean, I know I'm working because I'm mm -hmm. not like watching Netflix and I'm, you know, I'm not like, you know, okay. ignoring the stuff, you know, I'm working, but the output is still not, hasn't like ebb, you know, flowed. It's ebbing, mm -hmm. it's fl not flowed the way I'd like. And so I was just curious your thought on Mm -hmm. the idea of work and how long one can work without generating the product and what that means. And should I just kind of roll with it or try to time myself into writing? You know, I'm, I'm try I have the time where I'm doing the things, but uh -huh. like, I'm just much more interested in kind of immerse immersing myself than I am in the focusing and the output of the writing. So I'm just curious your take on that. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's, it, it sounds like you're doing the work. I mean, right. You're, you're, you're showing up every day. You're, you're putting the time in, in the way that you need to. Um, what it sounds like the glitch is that the, the output isn't, doesn't look like you want it to right now. Right. Yeah. So this is, you know, part of being a professional. So welcome to the pros, right? 
okay? I mean, or welcome, welcome to the pros again. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's not like you're not a pro, but welcome to welcome back to the pros and just to remind yourself that um, that what you want it to look like and what it looks like shouldn't negate the fact that you are doing the work. Mm. I mean, I just tell you what I'm what I was working on before I turned on the show. Um, the genius of Aretha Franklin. I've been working on that writing scripts for that since January 2019. And I will many, you know, pages in the hundreds of hun rewrites in the hundreds. So you have to, um, I think uh, John, uh, uh, President Obama gave that uh, eulogy for John Lewis uh, the other day, and he talked about perseverance and how perseverance matures us. Um, it's a very moving eulogy, you know, uh, if you just want to watch it, it's, it's very helpful to remember that, um, yeah, perseverance is, is what matures, it's one of the things that matures us. So here you are in the perseverance stage. You're working. You know, if you weren't working, if you were slacking and watching Netflix, then we'd have another conversation, right, Lou? You're putting the time in. You want it. You want to be somewhere else with it, but you're not. Um, so, sorry, I lost your I lost your picture. I was looking at your picture and I can't find it. But anyway, where'd you go? Uh, I know. Where's that? So. Uh, okay. We, we can we can. Move. If she wants to come back, but yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> Thanks. That's okay. No worries. Um, all right, we're gonna go to Gerald. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Um, good. I have a question. I um, so I showed my novella to two people, mm -hmm. who are, uh, husband and wife, mm -hmm. who are great writers. I respect their opinion, mm -hmm. and they really connected with it. But their idea, not by, and their idea mm -hmm. is that it should be a YA novel. Uh -huh. They mm -hmm. are so convinced that. Oh. Yeah, that this is really for young adults. Now, the thing is, my protagonist is, is uh, 55, in their 50s. Mm -hmm. So I would have to really, I'm, I'm open to doing the work. And I trust their vision. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what to do. I, I'm so lost because I feel like I don't want to just scrap the 19,000 words that I've written, <laughs> but it makes a lot of sense for it to be a novella. Could I do both? Could I, I'm really lost trying to figure out making this, you know, fitting it into a novella for YA. Right, well, well because you said you showed this, this, this uh, writing uh, couple, your novella. Yes. And their comment, they, they connected with it, and they suggested it could be a YA novel, a YA novella. Yes, yes. So, but when you kept, you said, I'm, connect, I'm struggling with how to fit it into a novella. So, you mean into a YA? I'm, I'm sorry. Into oh, it's okay. YA. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, it's okay. YA. Yeah, that's, that's really tricky. Um, I mean, you could do both. You already have one form, you know. You could write, you could write the other one. If you really think that that's a cool idea, um, you could go ahead and, and do it. That that would be all right. If you trust their opinion and you think it's a good idea. Um, you know, sometimes you give books to editors and they have cool ideas and then you take their ideas. It's just that at that point, it's already sort of on the track to getting published, you know. So I would, um, I think you could write it. Sure. If you feel, if you feel like, I mean, you know, your friends, you know, you know how you feel about their, their feedback. What do you feel about it? What does your stomach say? Well, I really was committed to it, to the, the character being 55 years old and not be a novella. And I mean, no, sorry, not be, sorry. I keep miss, uh, saying okay. the wrong word and not be a, a YA book. Right. Yeah, that I was. I saw it as a novella for adults, and this is a whole new avenue. And part of it is not trusting myself, mm -hmm. and that's my struggle. That 
I think everybody has a better idea than mm. me. And maybe that's the underlying, talking to you, maybe that's the underlying mm. thing. Or maybe I could do both, but I just don't, I feel like I don't want to just drop it. Oh. The, the uh, novella for the adult, uh, for, for adults, because I, I put so much love and care into it. And to just go down this YA not mm -hmm. road. Well, the other tricky thing about about um, some people view characters over certain ages less than interesting, and there's that, you know. Or or let's just say, let's just be real: women over a certain age less than interesting, uh -huh. you know. So um, so that's a tricky that's a tricky thing too, you know. Um, uh, you could get a you could get another opinion. When did you hear this feedback? When did you hear? Like how many days ago? Like uh, two days ago. Okay, so okay, okay. So yeah. you can let it you can let it cool. Like don't do anything for a week. Write on write something else. You know okay. what I mean? And then if you're still thinking about it, you could get another opinion. You know, okay. um, that is helpful. And you could also check in with your gut again. You know, but it is tricky with these, you know, you get opinions from really awesome writers that you have respect for and suddenly you think, oh, yeah, that'll do it. And then the next great writer that you get an opinion from says, actually, your main character should be a rabbit, <laughs> a white rabbit, you know, and you go, oh, that's it. You know, so it can get a little tricky. Let it cool, maybe, Gerald, you know. Okay. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Just do some work on something else. Because okay. you've already done the work. I mean, shit, you've done the great work. You know what I mean? You've done the hard work. You've yeah. written the damn thing, you know? Well, it needs, it still needs a lot of sure. polishing and, you know, sure. but. Sure, sure. But, you know. Yeah, there's time. Get someone, get, yeah, seek some other opinions, maybe. That's really good. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thanks, Cheryl. Thanks, Cheryl. Um, all right, we've got Larry up next. Hey, Larry. Hey, how you doing? Hey, man. How you doing? I am, you know, I've been having a good time writing, and uh, it's been flowing, and I'm enjoying it. Uh, I've been probably for the last two to three weeks kind of approaching a draft of a first act. And I just keep writing. I've just been kind of going with the flow, but it's kind of a little bit like the horror movie where you're running down a hall and the hallway just keeps getting longer. Mm -hmm. And I started to have this thought, like, I wonder if I need a deadline. Like, I wonder if it would be helpful to give myself a deadline. And, you know, no, this is something I'm doing for me. No one's waiting for it uh, or they don't know they are. Um, so I guess I was just wondering about your experience about giving yourself a deadline or giving yourself some self accountability or something like that. I was just wondering what your thoughts yeah. were. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the question is, you know, do you brush your teeth if you're not going to see anybody all day? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> How many of us are wearing bottom parts of our outfits? You know? Um, yeah. So Larry, I mean, I'm all into those kinds of things. Um, uh, I call them finish lines because deadline sounds kind of like sad. And it just imagine, Larry, if you and me were running, like running, and we were like, we're going to run, yeah, I don't know how far we're going to run, or isn't it much nicer to go, we're going to run the marathon. It's still hard, but at least there's a marathon, there's a, you know, right? So, yeah, so I, I, I enjoy doing that. I, uh, like, if you say, sure, I'm going to wrap it up by, date. you can make up the date, you know? Yeah. Okay, and, and stick to it, and then just kind of show up and stick to it. I like those sorts of things. Like opening night, Larry, you're a director, right? Well, yeah, yeah, exactly. So It's like opening night, you know, or freeze the show, or beginning of previews, or whatever those things are that we, you know. Right? I guess there's a little bit of a superstition, like I might jinx the flow that I'm feeling, but I also think that the flow might also be a little bit, I don't know, um, in the way. Uh -huh. <laughs> like uh, I could that... just be making stuff up right? and not get anywhere. There you go. Yeah. And, and you know, and uh, it's again, it's, it's like if you're doing, you know, like you're directing something, you have first preview. You're going to jinx the flow of the good rehearsal by saying, well, we have to kind of have first invited audience in by 
that date. You know, I mean, I mean, you know, if you do jinx the flow, you're going to be forced to find tools to unjinx it. And then you'll have like great unjinxing tools in your tool belt. That's great. You know, so it's all good. Okay. I appreciate okay. it. Thanks. Thank you, Larry. Thanks, Larry. Um, all right. So we don't have a question at the moment. Oh, wait, Lou is back. Her power had Look, gone out. Your power was out. Are you back? Where are you? Girlfriend? I'm in, um, I'm in North Adams, Massachusetts, and the storm oh. is coming right through. So I'm sorry. Oh, so if, if I, I, no. I feel terrible. No, I, not you, you at all. You were talking about writing Please. your scripts and I was like right here oh. and then phew, well, it went out. It, no, it sorry. doesn't matter. I, I, um, but I did forget what we were talking about. We were talking about work and if output equals work or if work is work. What is work? Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 give you a definition that's going to work for what's going on right now, right? Right. So, and that's in a way, you know, I do a lot of things called lowering the bar. And it was fun when we did this show in the lobby of the public theater. And Carol will remember, I would bend all the way down to the ground and get this close from the floor, lowering the bar, lowering the bar, right? Or just embracing where it is that you're at. So Lou, for right now, work is going to be showing up every day for a sp certain amount of time that you will determine and doing what you feel you need to do to inch your project forward, okay? And also, work is also going to include, for special extra credit, work will include you keeping your eye, your mind's eye, on whether or not you're bullshitting yourself. Because mm -hmm. at a certain point, you're going to go, I'm just researching. And, you know, and if you can feel that, I'm like, oh, no, you're not, Lou. You're bullshitting yourself. Then at that point, you stop, put pause on the research, and get back into the writing, even if it's not flowing, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. work will be just showing up at your writing for your writing time and maybe typing and sitting there and scratching your head and pulling your hair and chewing on your glasses thing and putting them back on you doing that, you know, for however long, you, you know? Okay. Yeah. So Thanks. it's about, so work has, you know, an element of, I'm trying to think, uh, uh, maybe a, 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 the hidden thread of compassion in it, maybe. I'm, mm -hmm. try, I'm making this up as I'm talking to you, but I'm trying to, you know what I mean? It's a phantom thread of compassion. If we can just trace that thread sometimes. Sometimes we're, we're, we, we get excited about our finish lines or we need a certain word count or we need to turn it in by a certain time or turn it, you know, get, take the notes. So much. But we need to also remember to trace that thread of compassion mm. that is part of work um, that is part the, the part of work that gives us joy you know that that yeah. feeds us you know that gives us that, that replenishes our sense of optimism like that Helen Keller book I was reading to you for, guys a few weeks ago yeah I remember you know, you know? Mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah. Okay. Compassion. Thread okay. of compassion. Yeah, that makes a lot of yeah. sense. Thank you so yeah. much. Thank okay, you. thank you. And check back in and see, like, you know, because if you start bullshitting yourself, then we're going to give you a different... <laughs> okay, that's fair. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Lou. Thank you. Oh, I clicked all the wrong buttons. So sorry. Carol, you're up next. Unmute, unmute, unmute. Okay. There you go. There you go. Hi. Hi. So good to see you all again. And Likewise. What you were saying was just made me think how um, during these hard times and when you're having different difficulties that are, are upon everybody in life, that's when writing is most important, it seems mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. That's that's when I have I can write with the deepest feelings mm -hmm. um, and compassion or mm -hmm. even get from the writing, find out what I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. but, but still, it's a sense of working. Mm -hmm. And um, I find journaling every day is really important mm -hmm. um, for that and helpful. But sort of like that's if I if I do that, then I know I've like played played my scales. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm ready uh -huh. so that when the real idea or the problem solving for what I'm working on as a project comes, comes when I sit down, it's there and it pours out. 
Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to share that and just say how happy I am to see you and to say that everything is, is going well. Tell us, tell us, how's back. he doing? How's he yeah. doing? Uh, he's doing the doc. We've heard this, the, the word, my favorite word right now. Um, he's in a safe place is what a doc, what the doctor said. So that's uh, so great. So oh, that, that's great. So it's, really great. you know, it's still day to day and he still has, he'll have to be there for a couple of more months. Oh, wow. Till, in the NICU. Well, till the, because it was four months premature. So they wait till four months, you know, till they yeah. were, were ready to be born. Right. But it's, it's been quite a journey and um, just, uh, it's precious. What can I say? <laughs> and it's Rowan is his name? Yeah, it's precious, right? Rowan? Rowan, yes. Rowan, okay. With an A. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Everybody remember, take a breath for him. Yeah. Yeah, yes, just great. yeah. I thank you. I thank you so much for taking those breaths and and for being with us on, for, through all this. And it's it was very helpful. It is, and yeah. it's still going on. But but to see a picture now of my granddaughter holding him. Oh and wow! She, and he's dre dressed dressed in in a, a t shirt <laughs> that says <laughs> I, I of a digger, and it says I dig my mama. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> and, uh, uh. Just, that so it's a sweet image oh that's great oh that's really that's, great so wow. that that's the row port as we call it yeah. wow. <laughs> that's really great it's funny i'm i'm looking i see my favorite yoga teacher barbara varaki she's here today and barbara says that if i can paraphrase barbara varaki um that it's the times when you don't think you have time uh, to meditate or do your yoga practice that's when you should do a double Yes. She always tells me that. Like I said, I didn't have time to meditate today. She's like, that's when you should be doing it. You know, double up, sister, you know? And those are the times, um, you know, give yourself an extra scoop. Yeah. I also your... find that, that, um, that poetry is coming out more. Oh, like, how about that? Like, like flowing out. I don't, I, I don't even know that I'm about to write a poem until I start uh -huh. writing. Uh -huh. oh. see, see what it is. So it's interesting. It's, Sometimes troubled times can can be very productive. <laughs> mm -hmm. True. So True. I wish the same for that that you all um, in, can just make the most of these moments. Mm -hmm. How was the storm? Have you had? Where are you? <laughs> the sun. The sun. The sun just. And I'm in upstate New York. And strangely enough, the sun just came out after a, yeah a whole just, day of heavy rain. So yeah, same same here. But but it's passed in through Massachusetts, city. I guess through through Lewistown. Yeah, so I think we were lucky with this. I got you. Oh, good luck to you all. Thank you, Carol. <laughs> Thanks, Carol. Um, so we actually, we don't have a question at the moment. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. We can practice our posture. I know. I'm very excited about that. Oof. We've got a question from Bernita. There you go. Hey, Bernita. Hi, SLP. Hi, Audrey. Hi, everyone. So I was going to wait, but I was like, okay, no one's raising their hand. Um, so I guess this is kind of a check in. So interesting development around the um, article that I am working on confronting former client, the magazine, initial positive response from the editor-in-chief, yes, let's do this, let's collaborate on uh, looking at the disparity between what the company says it supports and what it actually is doing. Mm -hmm. Now the editor-in-chief is retracting, you know, backtracking mm -hmm. in terms of participating. Mm -hmm. And I guess what's coming up for me is um, this, I'm taking a lot of inspiration from John Lewis's last words. Mm -hmm. I think it's absolutely amazing. Uh, the piece, the fact that he wrote in like his final hours mm -hmm. and um, that call to action mm -hmm. to really stand for what I believe in, um, but I can feel it. Like I can feel I have taken on a, uh, a quite large, undertaking. Mm -hmm. And when addressing topics 
or writing to um, writing to uncomfortable subjects, I guess, so to speak. Mm-hmm. How important is it to say, get, get your backup lined up and not necessarily just, you know, factual information and what I'm putting in the world and whether it's, you know, in it, in it being true, not only to my experience, but also like evidence-based. But, um, you know, going at it when you might be on your own versus, you know, trying to identify all of the people who would support said writing, um, Mm -hmm. you know, before you go further into the, you know, further into the ring that I have Mm -hmm. already started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes we're needed, we have to go into, you know, battle, you know, by ourselves. You know, um, even if we wish we would have allies, you know, there's there there might not be anyone around. Um, But I feel like and I I feel like it's it's it might be more effective if you did have some allies in this, you know, so you didn't have to carry it all alone. I mean, you can still lead the charge, but it's good to have to know that you've got some allies if at all possible you know what I mean I'm not saying if you don't have any don't do it but I am saying if you do have some allies in this then contact them in some way you know you said you had a mentor who was uh you know talking to you about these subjects you know if I remember correctly um I because because um uh, uh uh being a warrior can be isolating <laughs> you know what I'm saying I mean it's I mean, I pick up my sword every day and run up that hill. And sometimes I got to run up the hill all by myself. And sometimes along the charging up the hill, I might see somebody and go, come on. (laughs) You know, you got to come with me, you know. Sometimes the people I thought were my allies turn out to not. And there's, and that crosses racial, gender, all kinds of lines. You know, there's not solidarity in the community like we would hope. So, but it's, I, I always feel more, I always feel more courageous when I can, when I have others with me, you know? So if you got folks, um, enlist them. If you don't got folks and you still feel passionately, then, then keep going. And I certainly have all your, all your facts and everything all lined up. I mean, it sounds like you've got that already, but you want to have all your facts and everything. Also ask yourself, is this the best time to make this strike? You know, this, 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 make this effort, you know, this is the best time to make this effort since the person said, yes, I'll be collaborate with you. And then, no, they're retracting, you know? Um, no. Yeah, I, I think so. I mean, um, what it, what comes up to me in the retraction, sorry, I'm calling me. Um, what comes up for me in the retraction is like that, this is the inflection point right? Like this is the crux of the, um, the systemic structures that kind of keep the status quo in Mm -hmm. place if we don't push forward to, um, really get under the hood and, and reconstruct. Mm -hmm. Um, so, but this is, this is helpful. I do. I was actually in my 20 minutes starting to jot down names of not only allies as far as um, potential collaborators to the work or or the other people who have been directly impacted by this Mm -hmm. magazine um, practices, but then also just thinking about like people that I could call on to who would support me and saying like, yes, Vernita is a qualified producer. Yes, in this situation, if she was denied the opportunity to even submit a proposal for the job, that there's something, there's a disconnect there. And um, so my goal is not to, I think just as I have started this process, it's becoming revealed to me that um, I want to scale up and I want to make an impact. And I think there would be a bigger impact if I wasn't out here being a lone warrior. Mm-hmm. Um, and at the same time, I recognize 
you know, when someone says to me like, hey, why don't you get together with all of the other black and brown people that you were working with mm -hmm. on this project or at this company, I'm like, there are no others. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like it really, mm -hmm. it was like mm -hmm. me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. Mm -hmm. I hear you, I yeah. hear you. But it's cool that you're looking not just at in the in the company, but maybe there's someone in another company, in another situation, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, maybe you can find allies that way. And also they'll just give you tools and tips as you go forward too, you know? Yes. Okay, keep checking right. in, Vernita. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. you. Yeah, thank you, Vernita, thanks. Thank you. Thanks, Vernita. Um, all right, we've got about seven minutes left and we're gonna go to Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, I've been watching for some time now, and I'm really delighted to be here. Thank you. Huge impression on me, and I am trying to get more organized in my work and working every day, or at least five out of seven days a week. Mm -hmm. So in the meantime, what I'm faced with right now is I have wrote a play some years ago, maybe five, six, seven, I don't know, about uh, uh, something that, that was personal to me. And I decided when I came back to it that I didn't want to, I wanted to go through creating an outline without looking at the original play. Mm -hmm. So I've been doing that. Mm. But I have now hit some roadblocks. Um, and I'm not sure, I mean, I'm, there's a, I, I know the beginning, I know the end, I know how it's, what the setup is, I know what I'm at at the three quarters kind of point, blah, 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 blah. But the point, the, but, but the actual writing of it, I'm not even sure about. And the things that, that don't meet mm -hmm. in my mind, I haven't solved in terms of the outlining. Um, so my question is, do I go look at that other play? Or do <laughs> I leave it alone and just stumble forward yeah oh you're you're a hard you're a hard case elizabeth no because you're you're tough you're tough girlfriend you, you you're allowed to look at the play girl you wrote it you wrote it it's yours you know what i'm saying i mean you're like yeah i'm not gonna look at it and i wrote it five years ago and i'm gonna see if i can remember it <laughs> it's, it's, not, it's not easy <laughs> it's not easy well i'm saying i think what you're you're creating is a real fresh take on it yeah you know, which is that. really great but I've grown if, up in the years. Yeah, and but if you if there's some pieces that you think, gee, it would really be helpful to see how I did it X number of years ago. Okay. You're completely allowed to go back to it, you know, and then you can either reuse those pieces as as is, or you can refashion them to fit sort of the 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 newer model that you're creating. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Oh, you're that. you're welcome. I need permission to go look. <laughs> at your own work yeah you're allowed exactly. <laughs> yeah great okay thank Thanks. you Elizabeth. um all right Flo you're up next are you there awesome I found the button yeah this well is done. the time and I'm really grateful to have to have the opportunity to ask a question um so it's about keeping the momentum right so I I finished a draft and I was starting to of a full length Play and I was starting to submit it and then it sort of like stopped my creativity around it and so now I'm working on another project and my question is about the balance right between the the, the, the play that's that's complete has a completed version of itself right I'm a little bit of a, of a perfectionist and so I'd like I'd like to really nurture it and and give it the chance to grow um, with with mentorship and so it's like the balance between just producing it and having having it done and waiting and applying to really have the support to have something greater than what I can do on my own. So I don't know if you have any advice mm -hmm. around mm -hmm. that. Thank you. Uh huh. So you you finished a play, you have a completed draft. Did you have a party? <laughs> No. <laughs> did you did you buy yourself some flowers or? I suppose or... I I did. Yes, I oh, just did. know that it was for the play. <laughs> well, for you, you did the work. I mean, you know. So you, you but you 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 did some kind of like happy dance or something, right? Yeah, it's it's true. It's funny because you know it's like it's the, all of these like 
you know, stepping stones, we have to, yeah, it's a little bit of a landmark, but I, I want to keep revisiting it. I want to, I want to become even friendlier with these characters and get more truth in it. So it's like, I don't really feel like, it's great, but I get your point. <laughs> well, but when, a, I, I mean, I, my child is not old enough to go to college yet, but when a parent sends her child off to college, they, they keep talking to them. I mean, they have a party, but they keep in touch, you know, you, okay. you're going to keep nagging them to whatever, yes. pick up their socks or whatever, you know. So you're allowed to keep working on it, but you, I just wanted you to recognize that you've reached, a, you know, you've, you've crossed a finish line. Thank you. Yay. Yeah. Okay. So you're going to buy yourself some flowers or have a bubble bath or what you do to enjoy yourself. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to, you want to, um, do you want a workshop? How do you want to keep nurturing this play? What, what's your game plan? Well, there is somebody who, who I really enjoy their vision and that mm. I, I would want um, to, to direct a reading. Mm. It just, it feels, there's also an actor, there's, yeah, there's an actor, this is a three character play. So there's somebody I see really good for the part that's like similar to who I am. Uh -huh. So, so like, it, it's possible to, to hear it and get a couple of people and and hear it together but it just feels like because everything is so uncertain now like I just want I want that it feels momentous for everyone and and so it's I know that they could be this pitfall of keep reworking and reworking something and of course everyone everyone wants there to be a production at the end <laughs> but there's no no right. the theater now <laughs> right but there but so we so we do what we can and we let the rest go yeah, so that's 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 part of being a pro. We're going to do what we can. We're going to we're going to do what we can. We're going to let the rest go. So what you have, you have a, a director that you like that you could approach or your friend or. Yeah, there you friend. Great. And you have an act. This actress person is your friend also. A, yeah, I mean, she read, she read it. Fantastic. Yeah. So you've got you've got two people already. You just need two more actors <laughs> and they're going to be thrilled to be involved in a project. Yeah. You have you can have a Zoom party. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, it's, yeah. I mean, you can have it be, you know, a reading of your play and happy hour or, yeah. you know, or something like that. I mean, or have the happy hour after you have the reading of your play um, you know, or just, you know, some way to celebrate however you think oh, that would be appropriate, yeah, yeah. you know, and um, that's another finish line that you will have crossed, you know. Uh, yeah, when, you're making it feel casual. It's nice because well, I, yeah, yeah ca it, it's cash, but it's all, I'm, it's all, it's very serious. It's, a serious it's just like we don't have to like clinch about it. You know what I'm saying? It's people okay, cool. reading your play. It's going to be lovely. It's going to be yeah. fun. They're going to give you feedback afterwards. You're going to be appreciative. Um, they're your friends. You offer to do the same for them. Maybe sit in on one of their readings or something. Give the, you know, so you reciprocate when you can. Yeah, great. I thought we, we're going to work with the tools we have. You know, instead of mourning the, the, the things that we don't have and, and can't manifest right now. Yeah, that's exciting. Thank okay. you. It brings a lot of clarity. Then, yeah, yeah. And, and we're going to have a nice time. As nice as it can be, given the circumstances. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thanks. Good, great question though, Flo. Mm. Thanks, Flo. It's six o'clock. It's six o'clock. Here we are. Okay. We'll see right, you so tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. As a reminder, please sign up by 3 p.m. Eastern every single day or, you know, the days we're here. <laughs> and I'll send you a link between 3 p.m. and 4.30 p.m. Eastern. We'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Okay, thanks, Bye. Bye. Thanks, people. Thanks, Audrey. Thanks.